go to eventbrite.com and search The Jason Show. Well, welcome back. I'm excited. I was a little sick the, when she was here before. I've known our first guest today for years. She's a, a dear friend of mine. She anchored the news and interviewed nearly every celebrity known to man during her nearly 20 years on the air in Los Angeles. Now she's building a ginormous following with her food hacks and more on social media. Look. Just five ingredients to make this yummy lobster bisque pasta. Cook the cherry or sugar plum tomatoes with some olive oil about five minutes over medium high heat until they're soft. Then add the langostino tails and continue cooking for another six to seven minutes. At the same time, cook the pasta according to the package instructions. Drain the pasta, add it back to the pot, and pour the lobster bisque over the pasta and cook until heated all the way through, about two to three minutes. Then add in the tomato mixture and add some basil. Okay, there you go. Mm. Delicious. 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 <clears throat> by the way, by the way, friends, that five ingredient lobster pasta hack has more than 50,000 views just right now. Please welcome back to the show my dear friend, Lisa Breckenridge, everyone. Hi, sweetheart. We can actually see you, Jason. Oh, it's so good to see you. I know, I know. I miss you. I miss your face. I want to squeeze you. I want to kiss you. I want to do all the things. Me too. I, I, <laughs> I said it in the intro, love. I, I, for people that don't know, I was sick. I was so excited to start having Lisa on the show. We were uh, DMing. We got her on the show, and I got sick, like on Lisa's <laughs> debut. So. Um, I was like, does that mean you're canceling me already? <laughs> I was canceled before I even started. No, I was no. Glad I was able to be with the gals. They were amazing. They were great. Let me ask you, and I know you covered a little bit of this with the gals, but I, I want to roll a compliment into a question. And that is, uh -huh. I, I haven't said this to you uh, personally, uh, and, but I want to publicly now. I'm so... I'm so damn proud of you because for people that don't know, you know, Lisa, you just heard me in the intro. Lisa was like the grand dame of LA TV and, and, and you, you stepped away. You jumped off the, the proverbial uh, diving board to do something completely new, completely scary. You did it before influencers were, you know, everywhere. You, you can't walk down the street without bumping into four of them. And, and that, had, that had to be scary for you. So my compliment then question is, for anybody looking to do that, maybe they don't want to be an influencer, but for anybody getting ready to walk that plank and jump into something new, what would you tell them? What's your advice? I mean, just truly follow your heart and do what's going to make you happy because that is what's going to be shown to anyone who might follow you. So like whether or not you're going to want to be an influencer, whatever you want to do, just be happy. And I always say that I have the best job on television Every single day was fun. I had more fun moments in a week than most people had in like five years. It truly was a gift of a job. And I went home to this beautiful family. But now I've been able to create this. And especially the last few years while my kids were um, in high school, I just sent them off to college. I was able to do things at home. I didn't have to get up at 2.30 in the morning. And I was able to create a life on my terms exactly how I wanted to, which served me best. And if you can do that and be happy at the same time, I mean, you won the lottery. I think people, uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, with a, if you do what, I, don't, I forgot what the say. I forget what the saying is, Lisa. If you do what you love, you, you're not going to work a day in your life. You know, and I, I feel that way with this. This isn't work. Of course. You, you know, it's, no. a, it's a privilege. It's the toy box. That's what we always said about the job, especially here in L.A. It was we did the hard news when you had to. I covered the worst stories you could ever imagine. I had to witness an execution of all things. Like, you name it, the worst of humanity, but also the best. And then to be able to play in that toy box... Um, and just have fun and see where it went. I mean, nothing better. Well, we got to take a, we're going to actually cook with Lisa in a minute. So I began with a compliment and I will toss to break with a compliment. Everybody knows uh, a lot of influencers drive me up the wall. Uh, they, I, uh, but you, you are one of the best. And I just think you're so good at what you do. And I'm just, as a friend, I'm very proud of you. I'm very, I'm so proud of you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I love you. Dinner's on me the next what, sweetheart? I said dinner's on me the next time. Done! Done! 
<laughs> we we had a dinner once and it was really expensive. <laughs> I know. I paid for it, I think. You did, yeah. Girl, really quick, I have five seconds to say this. Since Lisa said it, I don't mind. We went to this. Lisa took me to one of the most expensive places in Malibu. That bill came. It was folded in a way where I saw that bill. I'm not religious. I prayed to Jesus I didn't have to pay that bill. I prayed to every religious figure that I didn't get that. Lisa and her husband grabbed that bill, and I heard hymns in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More with Lisa when we come back. Back in a moment. <laughs> I love when I can hang with my friends at work. We're joined once again by former TV star, former TV anchor turned social media superstar Lisa Breckenridge from happilylisa.com. Okay, my love, what are we making today? Okay, so this, I know you guys have freezing cold temperatures there right now. Yeah. So I thought like a little soupy wonton situation might be good. So during commercial break, I started the um, mushrooms and a little bit of garlic and a little bit of oil. Okay, and just for TV purposes, you're gonna speed it up a bit. And you know, everyone likes these wontons. These are from Trader Joe's, okay? I'm gonna take these, usually you can put them in frozen, but again, for TV purposes, we're just gonna put them in. They're a little bit defrosted. We're gonna add those in. And what I love, you know, on my website, I have all types of recipes. A lot of my home cooked recipes from my mom that I grew up on. But it's the Trader Joe's stuff on my Instagram that really takes off. So now we're going to add in um, a little bit of the chicken broth. You can do one cup or two cups, depending on how soupy you want it. And you're just going to let that cook it all up. And then we're going to add in kind of the fun stuff. So this is the teriyaki sauce, again, from Trader Joe's. Um, it looks just like this if you're looking for ideas. And again, you can always switch things out. But what I like about Trader Joe's is that this whole meal costs less than $17. And most of the ingredients that you're buying can be multi-use. So it's probably like $15 and $14. And where can you do a meal like that? Next, I put in, I like spice and I like the crunch. Have you ever had this chili crunch? No. It's insanely good. Oh, what do you mean? You I never, haven't had this? I know, Lisa, <laughs> executive producer Jeff shamed me this morning. He goes, you have never had that? I haven't. What is wrong with you? I put it on I put it on ice cream if I could. It is that good. So you take this and, and it's got the oils, it's got the chili, and you're just gonna put that in there and mix it all up. And again, look how easy this is. These little wontons are gonna cook up, obviously. Um, I don't know how much time we have left, but I wanna make sure you We have three see minutes, three minutes, Lisa. See, this is oh! how see this is how good Lisa is. Lisa knows TV. She knows to ask me time cues. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know. Okay, so the, because I want it to be healthy as well, you put in the spinach um, and you have all your fresh mushrooms in there and you have your spinach and you just kind of let that wilt down. And really, that is going to be it. We're going to let it wilt down, heat up, and then we're going to add in um, the green onions. And I think, you know, for anyone, for me, I really started cooking more like this actually after the kids left because. I was cooking all these big meals for the kids and, and now they're not here. And so it's kind of a waste to be cooking all that food. And so something like this could be saved and smaller. And again, it's not going to be so expensive. And I know we eat out far too often and or we use the Postmates or whatever your service is. And that all adds up. So if you can make a meal like this, that's cozy and comforting and soothing and feeling like what's not to love. Um, so, yeah, Lise. Um, you have it? Uh, so, I will tell you, executive producer Jeff made this this uh, last night. I have it in front of me. I have it in front of me. And this, I'm That's not, uh, look, nine seasons, I've eaten a lot of food on this show. This is one of the best recipes I've had on the show. Seriously. Yeah, really? Yeah, Lisa, I'm not oh, kidding, Lisa. Listen. This is so good. I could I could eat this every day. I really could eat this. Right? Eric, let's get a shot here. This is so good. Look at that. Now, 
Hey, Lisa, uh, Jeff, Jeff had to use, we use the dumplings. This speaks to the, the versatility that Lisa was talking about. I know that we can't focus there. There we go. Um, we use the dumplings. We couldn't find the wontons, uh, the dumplings in this, Lisa. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And that's the amazing thing, because usually I use shiitake mushrooms. They didn't have them, so I just used the regular mushrooms. Oh, mm. right? Mean, isn't that good? And it's and going to warm you up. What is your temperature today? You have a high of, what, seven or something like that? I look <laughs> oh, Lisa. No, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. If it was seven, our audience would be in bikinis. So let's, let's... Okay. Well, got it. We're talking... Um... Lisa, we're negative seven. Let's try... Let's oh. reverse that. <laughs> Okay, well, we're mid 60s today, and it's gorgeous and sunny outside. So I'm mean, not to rub it in because I do want to come back. But Lisa, yeah, the audience nicer today. Lisa, the the audience loved you until about 20 seconds ago. Yeah. So I That's, have that effect on people. There we go. Yeah. I love you. Thank you, sweetheart. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bye, honey. You can check out. Oh my God, I'm I'm not being Jason. This is. So good. Uh, it, uh, anyway, you can check out all of Lisa's videos on Instagram and TikTok. Her handle is at Lisa Breckenridge or go to her website, happilylisa.com. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. <laughs>